Okay, so express z is equal to root of four plus three i in the form of p plus q i, where p and q are in error. So the solution, we get z four plus three i and square to get rid of the square root on the right and have z squared is four plus three i. Now we must express z in the, in the form p plus q i. So substitute p plus q i for z, have it squared four plus three i. When you square, we get p squared plus two p q i minus q squared because i times i is, is going to give us negative one and this is going to be four plus three i so for complex numbers we put a real parts together and imaginary parts alone and the equality of complex numbers if i have a plus b i is equal to x plus y i. If these two are equal, then a should be equal to x, and b should be equal to y. So p squared minus q squared should be equal to 4 as equation 1, and 2 p q should be equal to 3 as equation 2. So solving them simultaneously, Using substitution from equation two, we can get um, Q expressed in the form of P. So say Q is going to be three over two P. And then substituting equation one, where we have P squared minus, so we have three over two P squared is equal to four giving us p squared minus 9 over 4p squared is equal to 4. If we multiply throughout by 4p squared, we get 4p to the power 4 minus 9 is equal to 16p squared. If we arrange it, we we'll have 4p to the power 4 minus 16p squared minus 9 is equal to 0. Now, dealing with quadratic is a bit easy. So, we reduce the powers by letting x be equal to p squared so that if we square x, then we'll have p4. So in substituting here, where is P4, we have X squared. Where is P squared, we have X. Nine is zero. So we now factorize this. So look for factors, four and nine, giving us 36. Two numbers when you add, uh, you get 36. Meaning when you multiply, you get 36. When you add, you get negative 16. So we have negative 18 and positive two. So we get four X squared um, positive two, so plus two X minus 18 X minus nine is zero, implying that uh, we can factor 2x and get 2x plus 1. Factor 9 and get 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So we have 2x plus 1. We also have 2x minus 9 is equal to 0. So x is negative half 
we also have x 9 over 2. So when we have this, then what is x? So we go back to the equations of x and pick the top one. x is equal to p squared. So x is equal to p squared. So when x is negative, we're going to have negative half is equal to p squared. Now we've been told that p and q are real numbers, so this cannot give us real numbers. So we pick x 9 over 2. So 9 over 2 is equal to p squared. This will give us p is equal to plus or minus 3 over root 2. So we now have p. So we have two values of p. We have p is equal to 3 over root 2 or p is equal to negative 3 over root 2. So what is q? q is 3 over 2, where there is p, we substitute 3 over root 2. And what does this give us? Um, this gives us 3 over 6 over root 2. So that if it is pocket, we we'll get 3 root 2 over 6, which is the same as uh, root 2 over 2. So what we have is when p is 3 over root 2, q is root 2 over 2. Again, q here will be 3 over 2 negative 3 over root 2, which is just going to give negative root 2 over 2. So when p is negative, q also is negative. So we have 2z. So z is equal to 3 over root 2 plus root 2 over 2i or z is equal to negative 3 over root 2 minus root 2 over 2. So we have two values of z, which is truth. It was for n square root, you expect to get two values, a positive or negative. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like.